what's up guys we're back to another video this is what we're talking about soon to be tropical storm claudret and today's severe weather so first we're going to talk about today's severe weather how it says there is an enhanced risk today for portions of illinois indiana and ohio the area of today's enhanced risk is 56,033 square miles. Population of today's enhanced risk is 12,632,962 people. Here are some of the bigger cities in today's enhanced risk. Indianapolis, Indiana, Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Fort Wayne, Indiana and Akron, Ohio. There is also a slight risk today for portions of Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. The area of today's slight risk is 96,895 square miles. Population of today's slight was is eleven million five hundred and fifty two thousand two hundred and forty four people. Here are some of the biggest cities in today's slight risk Cleveland, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Toledo, Ohio, Peoria, Illinois, and Erie, Pennsylvania. There is also a slight a uh, marginal risk today for portions of Wyoming, Nebraska, Colorado, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New York and Michigan. The area of today's marginal risk is 184,178 square miles. Population of today's marginal risk is 33 million ten thousand and three hundred and eighty seven people. Here are some of the bigger cities in today's marginal risk. Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan, Denver, Colorado, Kansas City, Missouri. In New Orleans, Louisiana. So it says there is enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms from central Illinois east across much of the of Indiana and Ohio. Summary: Scattered severe storms will be probable Friday around Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Severe gusts, possibly significant, will be capable of swaths of the wind damage with more with a more intense storm. A couple of tornadoes are possible in a ditch into large hail. So we're gonna look at the sail threat. The tornado risk for today goes up to a two percent risk. I mean a five percent risk for portions of Indiana, Ohio and Pennsylvania. The area of today's 5% tornado risk is 29,510 square miles. The population of today's 5% tornado risk is 8,879,000 8, and 87 people. Here are some of the bigger cities in today's 5% tornado risk. Columbus, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Akron, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. And Palmer, Ohio. <sighs> There's also a 2% tornado risk for portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York. The area of today's 2% tornado risk is 96,232 square miles. The population of today's 2% tornado risk is 12,679,182 people. 
Who are some of the biggest cities in today's 2% tornado list? Indianapolis, Indiana, New Orleans, Louisiana, Toledo, Ohio, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The severe wind risk goes up to a 30% risk for portions of Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. The area today is 30%. 30% wind risk is 56,589 square miles. Population today is 30%. Severe wind risk is 12,890,000. 1,215 people. Here are some of the bigger cities in today's 30% severe wind risk. Indianapolis, Indiana, Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Fort Wayne, Ohio, Fort, and Akron, Ohio. There's also 15% severe wind risk for portions of Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York. The area today's 15% severe wind risk is 94,476 people. Here's the bigger. Here's the population of today's 15% severe wind risk: 11 million. 998,027 people. Here's some of the biggest cities in today's 15% severe wind risk. Cleveland, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Toledo, Ohio, P Buffalo, New York, Peoria, Illinois. There is also a 5% severe wind risk for portions of Louisiana, Mich Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New York, Michigan. Here's the population I'm at the Here's the the area of today five percent severe wind risk is one hundred eighty five thousand five hundred eighty seven people. I mean square miles. The population of today five percent severe wind risk is thirty three million thirteen thousand and thirty two people. Here are some of the bigger cities in today's five percent severe wind risk: Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan, Denver, Colorado, Kansas City, Missouri, and New Orleans, Louisiana. There's also a significant severe wind risk for portions of Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. And here are some big cities and the significant severe wind risk. It, for Indianapolis, Indiana, Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Springfield, Illinois. So a significant severe wind risk is fifth of uh, is thirty five plus thirty five mile per hour plus winds within a twenty five miles of a point. So that's what you could be seen in the Snick Wet Advised Snick Wet Snick Wet Wind Risk. You could be seen 75 mile per hour plus winds. That's where the strongest winds are going to be at, also. The Seville Hail Risk. Today goes up to a 15% risk for portions of Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. The area today 15% severe hail risk is 113,202 square miles. Population today 15% severe hail risk is 17,544,000. 
1,279 people. Here are some of the bigger cities in today's 15% real hair risk. Indianapolis, Indiana, Columbus, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, and Cincinnati, Ohio. There's also a 5% surreal hair risk today for portions of Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Louisiana, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York. The area today's 5% surreal hair risk is 128,440 square miles. The population today's 5% surreal hair Risk is 27,047,673 square I mean, people. Here are some of the bigger cities in today, 5% severe hair risk. Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan, Denver, Colorado, Kansas City, Missouri, and Omaha, Nebraska. Let's look at the future radar now. So, as you can see, the, the, this round... Not really any severe weather until you get to around two to three when some spotty showers will start forming around Detroit down to Toledo and move south. And that's going to form into a line that can produce very strong winds as it moves from Cleveland, Akron, down south to Youngstown maybe. That's that's a it's right. This is six p.m. You see that that strong winds are still moving that south southeast. Well, the, well, there is um sky storm starting to form south of Chicago and Gary areas. Then around seven p.m. The only really severe storm should be this line, and it's starting to break apart, but there's still a little bow right here where you can get the strong winds. North of Columbus, there's also some scattered thunderstorms. And around 8 p.m., the line starts forming back together, just and at around 9 p.m., that line moves through Columbus. So Columbus around 9 p.m. You'll be getting some gusty winds. And around 10 p.m. You got some storms starting to fire up around in Iowa. South of Des Moines and south of Davenport. You got some storms starting to develop. Around midnight. Really only severe threat. Will be like the remnants of this line. It may still be a line, but if there's any severe weather, it'll only be that line. One of these may be severe warned, but this line has a bad chance of being severe warned. And into the morning hours, they combine and move. Now we're gonna see what that hook. Now we're gonna see into the this is that marginal wish today, which. What is for the tropical storm as it moves just shore? So no marginal risk will probably get issued up here. So there's probably gonna be a marginal risk, no marginal risk up for Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina tomorrow. See that's what this one is for. Then that's what this one's for. Um, then it's not sensing anymore. Okay, now we're going to talk about the hook, the possible tropical storm. So, so it says key man messages for potential tropical cyclone free. Advisory free, 4 a.m. Central Time, Friday, June 18, 2021. The system is expected to produce heavy rainfall, considerable flash urban and small stream flooding, beginning today and continuing through this the link 
weaken along the central Gulf Coast with flood impact spreading north eastwards into the southern Appalachians. 2. Tropical storm conditions are expected to begin today in areas near the world to the east of the center portion center along portions of central Gulf Coast from intracoastal city Louisiana to Okaloosa Dash Walton County Line, Florida, including New Orleans. This is the tropical storm force wind probability. So as you can see, it's probably gonna be a tropical so so it's probably gonna be from a tropical storm today. Most likely will has a fifteen percent chance. Looks like forty to fifty percent chance coming a tropical storm current right now. And apparently so New Orleans you'll be you have your chance of getting tropical storm force winds is thirty two Forty percent is your risk of getting charcoal storm winds. The Lexia Goldport area, your your risk, your chance of getting charcoal storm force winds right now is between twenty and thirty percent chance. Mobile, you're a ten to twenty percent chance. If you're in Mobile, Montgomery, you're also in the 10 to 20% chance. Jackson, you're Jackson, Mississippi, you're in the 5 to 10% chance. And in Birmingham, you're in the 5 to 10% chance. Now there's no hooking probability, so that's good. So it's most likely not going to be a hooking. Probably only going to be like a truck. It's most likely only going to be a truck storm. So this is the earliest you can be getting tropical storm force winds. So it's going to, Louisiana start going to be impacted around 8 p.m. And Mississippi around 2 a.m. on Saturday in Alabama. Same with Alabama, Saturday 2 a.m. So New Orleans, you'll probably be starting to get tropical storm force winds about midnight tonight for, tro for tropical storm force winds. So, I uh, don't want to lie. So it's so it is showing that so the cycle storm warnings from around Destin, Florida, De down through. Mobile, Gulfport, Biloxi, New Orleans, into Hill, Th that bay in Louisiana. Guy, keep forgetting the name of, but there's a bay right there, south of South Louisiana. I don't know what it's called. Let me find it.
Okay, so the cycle storm warnings from Destin, Florida, all the way to. Around New Iberia, Louisiana, around that area. Okay. So this is the peak surge. So, oh, so uh, in Vermilion Bay. Your peak surge is two to three feet from Cayman to into coastal city. Your peak storm surge is one to two feet from from New Orleans to into coastal city. Your peak storm surge is two to three feet. In Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Montpropis, your peak storm surge is one to two feet. From Okaloosa dash Walton County line to New Orleans, your peak storm surge is two to three feet. From Bill Bay, your peak storm surge is two to three feet. And from Oklahoma. Lucia dash Walton County line to Panama City, your peak storm surge is one to two feet. And mobile, I always say that. And this is the rain dot, rainfall probabilities. But you see, the cities that will get the most rain will be on the coast, like New Orleans and Mobile. You'll be getting six to ten inches of rain, maybe ten to fifteen inches. But you two cities and in, in cities from intercoastal any cities from New Orleans to Bill, you are going to get the heaviest rainfall. So we actually I uh. So this is the flash flooding potential so for so so the so when you see the wet red that's your highest risk for flash flood so fifth so five percent is a marginal flash flooding risk a ten percent is a slight little is a ten percent slight flash flooding risk a, a red the red is a twenty percent moderate do it to be a f flash flooding risk. So it goes up to a three out of four, the flash flooding risk, risk for like New Orleans and Mobile, Montgomery, Gulfport, and Selma, Dolphin, Pensacola, Biloxi, Gulfport, maybe Hattiesburg, I don't know if it's right there or not. Okay, now you see, so, and it be already happened. So if this, when this becomes a tropical storm, which it most likely will, it will be Claudia that it will be its name. And I'm planning to do a live coverage when they do today of it. As it makes landfall, so yeah. Okay, so around there's plan to make landfall around one a.m. June nineteenth. So I'm I'm probably gonna be up early tomorrow morning doing the live coverage of this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do live hurricane. I mean, sorry, cause storm coverage on this one. It does look intense, especially the eastern portions. Okay. So.
If you like this content, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more web videos and live streams. Bye.